Ukraine destroyed 35 Russian Su-34 fighter bombers. Ukrainian anti-air crews claim to have downed 13 Russian aircraft in 13 days, rounding off a torturous month for Moscow's Air Force, even as ground units report significant battlefield advances, according to Newsweek. It seems like being a Russian military plane pilot is the worst job in the world, Ukraine's defense ministry wrote in a post on X. February is the shortest month of the year, but our sky defenders have achieved the greatest results in downing Russian jets since October 2022. Kyiv listed 10 Su-34 fighter bombers, two Su-35 fighters and one A-50 long-range radar detection and control aircraft as the downed planes. The A-50 is the second of its type, claimed destroyed by Ukraine since February 2022. Ukrainian spy chief Kirill Budanov said that Moscow has only six A-50s left. Russia's Su-34s have been playing a key role in supporting Moscow's winter offensive on the Eastern Front. Air-dropped KAB glide bombs have been credited as vital to Russian success in and around the small city of Avdiivka, with Ukrainian defenders lacking the air defense capabilities to stop such sorties. Russian fighter bombers can release the munitions from as far as 25 miles away. Forbes reported that Russia's Air Force has acquired a total of 140 Su-34 fighter bombers. Ukraine claims to have downed 35 of them. The Oryx open source intelligence tracker lists 25 Su-34s destroyed. If Ukraine's figures are accurate, the Russian Air Force would have around 105 Su-34s remaining in service. However, an unknown number may not be operational due to damage, a lack of pilots and required routine maintenance. The impact of losing 13 aircraft in almost as many days and possibly some of their highly trained pilots is not negligible for the Russian military, the Institute for the Study of War wrote. Ukrainian guerrillas spot ships in Novorossiysk used by Russia to shell Ukraine. Ukrainian guerrillas have spotted Russian ships in Novorossiysk from which the occupiers are shelling Ukraine. In particular, they took part in the attack on February the 7th, according to the Atesh guerrilla movement. Agents of our movement report the deployment of several missile ships in the port of Novorossiysk, the statement reads. In particular, the following were spotted. A small missile corvette of Project 228-800 Karakurt, a small missile ship of Project 21631 Buyan M. According to the guerrillas, it was from these vessels that caliber missiles were launched during the shelling of Ukraine on February the 7th. The ships are part of the 41st Brigade of Missile Boats of the Russian Black Sea Fleet. They were redeployed from Sevastopol to Novorossiysk after successful attacks by the Ukrainian Defense Forces. However, they continue to be involved in criminal attacks on peaceful cities, Atesh states. Russia launched a massive attack on Ukraine on February the 7th using kamikaze drones and missiles. Kyiv, where four people were killed and dozens wounded. Kyiv region, Kharkiv, where non-residential infrastructure was damaged. Mykolaiv, where one person was killed, Novomoskovsk, Dnipropetrovsk region and Drohobych, Lviv region were hit. In total, Russia fired 64 missiles and drones at Ukraine. The Ukrainian Air Defense Forces shot down 44 targets, 26 KH-101-KH-555-KH-55 cruise missiles, 3 caliber cruise missiles and 15 Shaheds. U.S. military warns of environmental disaster after spill in Red Sea caused by Houthi attacks. U.S. CENTCOM has warned of an environmental disaster following an attack by Yemen's Houthis on a cargo ship that caused an oil slick in the Red Sea. On the 18th of February, the Houthis targeted a U.K.-owned bulk carrier named Rubimar, flagged by Belize. The ship was sailing through the Bab al-Mandeb Strait, connecting the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden en route to Bulgaria from Khor Fakan in the United Arab Emirates when it was attacked by multiple missiles. The Rubimar, a Belize flagged but British-owned bulk carrier, has been drifting in the Red Sea after it was struck by two missiles. The ship 
which is feared to be in danger of sinking, is leaking an 18-mile oil spill and carrying 41,000 tons of volatile fertilizer. The 22nd of February attack on the Ruby Mar inflicted the most significant damage so far on a commercial ship since the Houthis started targeting vessels in November. The Houthis say their attacks on commercial shipping in the Red Sea are in solidarity with the stricken people of Gaza. CENTCOM posted on X that the unprovoked and reckless attack by Iran-backed Houthi terrorists caused significant damage to the ship, which caused an 18-mile oil slick. It has long been feared that the Houthis might extend their actions by disrupting internet traffic and cutting sea cables. Sixteen small fiber optic lines across the bed of the Red Sea carry about 17% of all international data traffic, including trunk lines connecting Europe with India and East Asia. It was reported on Monday that cables belonging to four big telecom networks, including the Asia-Africa Europe 1, TGN Atlantic, Europe India Gateway and the Seacom system have been damaged in recent months. The cause of the damage has not been identified and natural damage happens relatively regularly. Israeli media reports attributed the damage to Houthi actions but Yemen's Houthi-controlled communications ministry denied involvement. <music>